My name is Sanai Glendenning, and I am a kindergarten teacher at Lost Creek Elementary School. I am an active member of the Vigo County Teachers Association, as well as the Indiana State Teachers Association. I am currently in my 35th year of teaching. The Teacher Creativity Fellowship Program is one of Eli Lilly Endowment's longest standing programs. The endowment seeks to recognize and re-energize Indiana educators. The fellowship allows teachers like me to pursue dreams and passions, explore new areas of interest, or en enhance existing talents. This year, 100 educators across the state received a fellowship to pursue their passion. My fellowship proposal was titled, In Search of Motooka Sanae, a cultural immersion journey of forgotten relatives, language, art, and self-discovery in the land of the rising sun. I am an immigrant. I was born Motooka Sanae in the city of Sasebo in far western Japan. My biological father was largely absent when I was an infant, and my mother eventually married an American serviceman. We moved to the United States in 1969, 50 years ago this summer. I was seven, and English was my second language. With my mother aging, I have become increasingly interested in learning about my childhood. The Teacher Creativity Fellowship allowed me to return to Japan for three weeks this summer to reconnect with family there, people I have heard about but don't recall. I also wanted to experience some of the Japanese culture of my mother's youth, such as ikebana, Japanese floor arrangement, and chanoyu, Japanese tea ceremony. I was able to take both of these lessons while I was in Kyoto. Um, a third lesson that I was able to take was called Gyotaku, which is the Japanese art of fish printing. I had a master teacher who um, I was take, able to take a private lesson, and I will be um, sharing this with my kindergartners this um, May for Japanese Children's Day. But this is what I made. Thank you. I had a desire to learn about my birth father, who is now deceased. The findings were somewhat bittersweet. I discovered I have two half-brothers and a half-sister, and I hope to return to Japan in the future to help to meet these siblings. And I couldn't have done a lot of this without the help of Donna Christenberry, who is sitting in this audience, because she helped me a lot with the legal system and the paperwork and what I needed to do and who to contact. And um, she was very helpful and trying to give me um, some information about how to go about. I would like to thank the Eli Lilly Endowment for this opportunity for renewal and self-discovery. I would also like to thank the Vigo County School Corporation and the school board members for allowing me to share my fellowship program experience this evening. Thank you.